We don't have Chipotle, we don't have Trader Joe's, McDonald's doesn't have the orange drink, we have fruit punch, we love Spam, but Spam is locked behind a lockbox at Walmart. What is it really like to live in Hawaii? Welcome to Living in Hawaii, part two. In our first Living in Hawaii video, we did 10 realities of what it's really like to live in Hawaii. And then we got so many follow-up questions. And we also get a lot of these common questions from our clients every single day, as well as conversations that we have around the dinner table. So we thought we would answer those questions for you right here. If you haven't already watched part one, go ahead and watch it. It's a great video. This is gonna be a little bit of the same, but with some more realities of living in Hawaii. And as always, here at Dwell Hawaii, we really just wanna get you to look and see and feel what it's really like here in Hawaii, the lifestyles of the neighborhoods. We've got a bunch of neighborhood videos as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Weather in Hawaii is sunny and rainy. Okay, it can be perfectly sunny. And then all of a sudden the trade winds will pick up. If you're sitting outside eating lunch, your napkin will blow away and then rain will come out of nowhere like sideways, even though the sun is still shining. So, you know, tropical climate, Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's rainy. It can go back and forth. It can be totally raining in Kailua, like just over the mountain. But like in Honolulu, it's totally sunny. Traffic here sucks. I, I've said it in several videos, especially when we talk about west side neighborhoods. It takes a long time to get into town in the morning and it takes a long time to get back to the west side in the afternoon. And even in the middle of the day, it, it can be very random road work when it rains. Oh yeah, that's fun. When it rains, it's like, it's just something in the local psyche that, oh my gosh, it's raining, I need to drive different. And yes, we do. You need to be more vigilant and careful in the rain, but not like it's snow or ice. Weed is legal, even though the law says it's not. It's kind of like fireworks on New Year's Eve. These illegal fireworks problem. We're talking about illegal aerial fireworks. The illegals are lighting up the night sky. Fireworks laws have become a joke, literally. So every holiday season, we get you know warnings on the news and also in the newspaper saying, Fireworks are illegal, fireworks are banned, you're gonna get a, I don't even know what the fine is because it doesn't matter because nobody's getting fined. Like people are blowing up fireworks starting from like Halloween all the way through like January 15th. So Hawaii is a funny place because we tend to focus on things that they're important, but they're not as important as they would be in other places. So just as an example, some states are really going to focus on like anti-drugs and here we're anti-fireworks. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Hide your catalytic converter. Crime on Oahu, surprisingly, is, uh, I believe it's the lowest in the nation. I have to confirm that, but I do know that violent crime is below the national average. I read today, I think it was in the US News and World Report, that actually property crime is higher than the national average. The homes in Hawaii don't have garages, a lot of them anyway. If you've got a carport, now your car is exposed, but more importantly, we don't have basements, and so our garage garages and our carports become our storage and then the car ends up outside. So that's why we've got a lot of cars parked in the neighborhoods and in the streets. So you know, remember that video where the guy was like, hide your kids, hide your wives. Well, here in Hawaii, it's more like, you know, yeah, hide your kids, hide your wives and hide your catalytic converter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then he'll be like, Driving in Hawaii is very, it's kind of laid back. We go kind of slow. Don't rush anybody, don't tail them. Don't honk your horn. It's just not something we do here. I don't know what it is. So if you did something to like a local brada in a big truck, he's not gonna honk his horn at you. He's actually gonna roll down his illegal tinted window and he's gonna go, what? And you're gonna be like, ah, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, don't explain yourself. Just be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then he'll be like, Local people are non-confrontational, so they might come at you, but as long as you kind of like back down, they're not gonna carry on with it. It's when you're trying to like resolve it or prove your point, like you're really not gonna get anywhere with that. The looser, the better. The shaka is hang loose, right? So it's kind of like, hey, brada, yeah, it's all good. So if you need to throw a shaka, it's better just to be like, 
like that, you know, not one of these. Cause that's like, I don't know, it's a dead giveaway. The looser the better. You'll even get a shaka from the bus. Did you know, have you seen that before? So if you let the bus cut in front of you, not cut, but if you let them like merge in front of you, it'll throw you a shaka. It's really sweet. I notice everybody drives a truck here. Why does everybody have a Toyota truck? You see my brand new 2003 Toyota Tacoma. This is funny, because I was actually driving a client around the other day, and she said that. She goes, I notice everybody drives a truck here. So Toyota truck, I don't know. It's, it's just a popular truck of choice. But I feel like people in general on Oahu, even though our parking stalls are small, even though our parking lots are very compact, even though most people don't have garages, people love their trucks. Which car should I ship here? Should I ship my convertible? I get clients every now and then from the mainland that will say, which car should I ship here? Should I ship my convertible? And I'm like, no. And they're like, why? The weather again, like it can be sunny one moment and then it's like pouring down rain the next moment and then you're hot again the next moment. And I don't know, it's just, we don't see many convertibles here. And the rental car companies love to rent like convertible Ford Mustangs and Camaros. And so they just seem like tourist cars. I mean, not knocking on a convertible. Convertibles were super cool when we lived in Missouri, but it's just not something we drive here. Never turn your back to the ocean. The ocean can very well kill you here in Hawaii. I think a lot of people travel to Florida. Even when I've gone to the beach in Southern California, the waves are much softer there. Here we have a rule, never turn your back to the ocean. The ocean is incredibly powerful in Hawaii. It's different from any place else. Classic rock, absolutely not allowed on Hawaii beaches. We love to go to the beach. We love to do it in big groups or sometimes we just solo go to the beach. We do not hang out in the water talking story with a red solo cup. In Missouri, you know, we would go to the Lake of the Ozarks and we would float in the inner tube and like play our classic rock music. Like classic rock music is not allowed on the beach in Hawaii. No Sweet Home Alabama, no Credence Clearwater, Water revival, rock out to that music all you want when you're at home or in your car. I mean, I know I'm not the only person saying this because I've, I've heard a couple of other people say, what's acceptable? Cecilio and Capono, Kalapana, Dennis Pavau, Brada Is, Bob Marley, Common Kings, The Green, anything like Jawaiian. Perhaps you can mix in some like Jack Johnson, maybe you can do Steve Miller Band, The Joker but it has to be in a playlist. Like, don't play the entire album. We, we love to just hang on the beach, like under a pop-up tent. If we go in the water, it's really to cool off or to play with the kids or to dive or to surf or boogie board, but the, the hanging out thing, you know, we don't really do that. Sand in the house is absolutely unacceptable. So you'll find that when local people go to the beach, we spend a lot of time trying to get the sand off of our feet. Our moms and our grandmas have taught us that there is no sand in the house. Even like the sand in your bathing suit or in your shorts, it needs to be washed out. When you're at the beach, do not come home and take off your shorts full of sand and clog the drain. We just don't do it. We don't go to restaurants and grocery stores with sand all over our feet. You know that $8 gallon of milk? Okay, so there's use for that jug when you're done. You fill it up with water, you leave it in your car. When you leave the beach and you've got your slippers and you're going like that to get all the sand off or you're whacking your feet with your towel, you can also use that jug of water to rinse your feet off and it's all good. Don't enter another person's home with your shoes on. Shoes are never ever allowed in the house. I mean, I'm guilty sometimes if I'm trying on an outfit or I'm running out for work and I'm in my dress shoes running out, that's okay, but you don't enter another person's home with your shoes on. So even I have to coach clients often when we're doing open houses, like they'll say shoes off. I'm like, always, yes. Slippers, slippers, the rubber slippers, the black ones, um, we don't call them thongs. We don't call them flip flops. They're not like pool shoes, they are slippers. Local brothers will say rubber slippers. Roaches, really, are they everywhere? 
yes, they are everywhere. Even if you're in like a small condo in Kaka'ako, you're gonna have the little kind of annoying roaches. But if you live out in Hawaii Kai like me, where there's a lot of rock walls, you're gonna have these like bombucha, B52, like three inch suckers um, that are like, you know, three quarters of an inch wide. They crunch when you step on them. I don't step on them, okay? People love those hoi hoi traps. I'm not into those either. I don't like to kill things, but yeah. It really doesn't matter. If you pay $5 million for a house in Kahala or $500,000 for a house in Waianae, you are not exempt. Do we call them mongooses or mongeese? There was one day that Yasu, you and I were filming in Koalina and there were tourists and they're like, excuse me, what are those little animals with the long tail? You know, it kind of looks like a squirrel. Do they bite? And I'm like, oh, that's a mongoose. Mongoose are like ferrets or rather like a ferret and a squirrel had a baby. And they were actually brought into Hawaii by the sugarcane plantations to get rid of rats because rats were a nuisance and they were gnawing on the sugarcane. But as it turns out, out, rats are nocturnal animals and mongoose geese are uh, daytime animals. So the mongoose and the rats never met up. And so now we have mongoose and they don't bite. As much as they leave the rats alone, they're gonna leave people alone too. <laughs> Roosters. Roosters are really abundant on Kauai. And I remember when we lived there, like on a big moon night, or even if you would get up in the middle of the night and turn on the light in your bathroom, and then you couldn't go back to sleep. And you'd hear the duck, 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 duck. I don't know what that is. But yeah, we have a lot of rooster cats freaking cats. Oh my gosh, we have cats everywhere. And of course we have the crazy cat ladies that go to the parks and, you know, open up the can of food like at Coco Head or by the beaches, you know, kind of like when the sun is already gone down, they try to be all stealth about it. We have a lot of stray cats. But as far as predators, I mean, of course sharks are like the obvious predator, but we don't really have anything else on land. Should we be canceling our trip because of the volcano? So one thing funny that happens here is when a volcano erupts over on the big island, my friends from the mainland will call and they'll be like, is everything okay? Oh my gosh, there's a volcano. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, we're totally fine. Or then I'll have friends that are like, coming out for a visit and they'll call and they'll say, hey, should we be canceling our trip because of the volcano? And I'm like, no, the volcano's all the way over on the big island. It's not even affecting us on Oahu at all. Now maybe we'll get a little bit of what we call vog, which is kind of like fog, but it's like volcanic air that's blowing into our atmosphere. If our trade winds happen to shift direction and we get Kona winds, then we'll get the fog overhead and it'll bring in like muggy weather and hazy sky skies. But other than that, no lava on Oahu or really anywhere else other than the big island. We don't want to do anything touristy you will have visitors. So if you've got a lot of friends on the mainland, they're gonna come and wanna visit you and find out, like, tell me about like the great places to eat. Like, what beaches should we go to? What luau should we go to? And so I just have like a note saved in my phone for all the places and things that they should do. And of course they'll always say, we don't wanna do anything touristy, but like, how am I not gonna send you to like Leonard's Malasadas or Rainbow Drive-In, even though that's something we don't do often when we live here, it is something that you have to do. Um, visitors will always want to meet up for a drink in Waikiki and they'll always want to go to Duke's and we can't ever get in. So that's always kind of an interesting thing. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun being able to share home with people that are excited about it. Unspoken thing, you can't really Google it. You don't know when you say it. Sometimes W's are V's, yes. So for example, we might say Vai. Vai is water or it's like fresh water, but we won't say Vayanai, you know, like Wayanai or the town of Wahiwa. We'll say the W as a W, we won't say Vahiva. And then like Vana, Vana, W-A-N-A, -A, that's a sea urchin. I stepped on it, it sucked, but it came out. Anyway, we don't say Wana, we say Vana. So it's kind of just like an unspoken thing. You can't really Google it. You don't know when you say it. Some people say Hawaii, that's actually the correct way of saying it. But you know, in the modern day, we say Hawaii. Oh my gosh, four-way stops. I think four-way stops are annoying anywhere, but here on Oahu, for some reason, I just feel like nobody knows what to do. In Kaka'ako, there's a lot of four-way stops, and it kind of, this is, my opinion. I think people in Hawaii in general are very conscientious and so we'll tell people like, oh, go, 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 go. But then it's like, 
the person knows they don't have the right of way, so they're hesitating and they, they don't know if they should go. Meanwhile, the person that's telling them to go is getting irritated because they're not listening. And then it's just like, people, can we just follow the rules of the road? Do you know what the rules of the road are? No? Okay, shall I illustrate? Yasu, you can do something. You can show us. Do you know the rules of the road? I think whoever stops first gets to go. No, it's not! No? <laughs> It's the person to the right. So if I drive up and there's another car here on the right, I'm supposed to let them go. So it's always the one to the right. Yeah. But if you all show up at the same time, then it kind of becomes like a go, 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 you know? And then, but then you should try to get back to it's the person on the right or the, the person who got there first. That makes sense too. Why is Hawaii so special? You know, I've gotten, I've seen this comment several times. It's like, oh, what's the big deal? Hawaii's just like the Caribbean or it's just like Mexico and those places are way cheaper. I have to agree that depending on what you're looking for, like if you're just looking for sunshine and beach, and you know, like drinking all day and being on a vacation, you can certainly find the same thing you find here in other places. But when Hawaii calls to you and Hawaii is a place that you are like, no, it's something different that calls me. Of course, Hawaii is in the United States, so I know that's one thing that people like, they feel really safe here, but my brother-in-law said it when he visited uh, the last time he was here and he was like, I miss this place so much. He moved back to Missouri and I said, really, what do you miss about it? And he said, the culture. And I have to agree, that is something that is so special and so different about Hawaii. And some people get it and some people don't. I mean, a lot of the stuff that we talked about on this video, we poked fun at the guy in the big truck and the way the guy yells at you on the freeway or throwing the shaka, but those are things that are truly unique to Hawaii. You're not gonna get stuff like that in the Caribbean or in Mexico or in some other beach place. So that's why we're really proud to share these kinds of things with our viewers and with our clients. It's really important to us that you not only understand rate of appreciation and types of construction, but that when you come to us and you say, I wanna buy a home in Hawaii, we wanna find out about you and what it is that you're really looking for and to make sure that this makes sense to you. So if this makes sense to you at all and you wanna learn more about Hawaii, more about the real estate, and if Koa and I can help you in any way, please get in touch with us. Us. Dynamite, you just blew my mind.